All right, so introspection is basically the thing that Python's really good at. And what it does is take the information that you give it and sort through it without knowing what the information is beforehand. So, for example, if you have a list, let's say, um, we'll do, do li is equal to, and we'll make a list with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, so we have this um, information right here. But now let's make another list, but we don't want to do it by hand, and we just want to take even numbers from another list that was already made. We're going to use this one for example, but it could be any list, even one that has been made a long, long time ago, or one that you import from another module. And it's really easy to make them. So we'll just call this one uh, introspection. And that's equal to a list. But in here, this is where the actual main meat of introspection comes in hand. We want to say i for i in uh, li if i modulus 2 is equal to 0. Now here's basically what's going on. We made a for loop and it says for i in the list and then we said right here basically what happens after the list. We said basically i just return i and so it returns i into this list but we also said only do that if modulus uh, that number modulus 2 is equal to 0 now if you don't know what a modulus 2 would do it basically checks to see if it's evenly divisible by that number in this case 2 meaning if it's even or not and so now if we press enter and then we check introspection we have 2 4 6 8 and 10 which are all the even numbers that we got from this list. And you can do this with a lot of other things. There's another function called dir, which you can check like what you can do on certain things, like a string or oops, or whatever, all the different functions you can use on it that are built in, but it'll return a list of it, as you see here. And we could just say, um, for example, we'll do uh, str, li and we'll say that's equal to the list and we'll say uh, str or st for st in uh, dir of just a closed string if um, double underscore in uh, st so it'll only take the ones that have double underscores in them which means it'll find any of them that have double underscores, not just the ones that begin with it, but the ones that also have them at the end or in the middle, anywhere really in the word. So we'll press enter, and we check strli, and we have all the ones that have uh, double underscores, or dunders, as you may hear some people call them. And that's pretty much just a, a little basic part of introspection. There's a lot of things you can do with it. In fact, if you use the uh, dir function and the callable function, you can check if the function in here is callable, and then you can also do thing like do something like git atter, and then do the function, blah blah blah, and then the uh, like, well the the object, then the function you want to look at, and then dot underscore or double underscore uh, doc like that and you can get the documentation on it for all the ones that are callable um, from the returned list from dir so there's a lot of stuff you can do with this uh, it's really convenient basically if you have data that you don't want to sort through yourself and you don't know exactly what's in it but you want to take only certain things from that data you can just say take all of this um, as long as it follows this rule. So we took everything from this uh, list up here and we only added it into the list if it had uh, two underscores in it somewhere. And you can also say like if 
this is not in ST, so you could take everything other than the ones that have double underscores in them, which they have to be right next to each other. So that kind of starts like right about there, I think. And yeah. So if you have any questions on this or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or PM me. Like the video if you liked it or favorite it or anything like that. Always helps me out. Subscribe for future videos, and I will be making some more shortly. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys later.